Uh, my name is Craig Perry and I'm the uh, food manager and I'm also on the operations uh, at Pizza Hotline here. I started in the office here uh, 17 years ago. Um, actually, yesterday was the 17th, it marked 17 years in the office and um, before that I started with Jerry in 1991. I got hired as an assistant manager at uh, the location on Corden Avenue that used to be uh, just up the street from here. It was Primo Pizza and uh, it was a neat location. Uh, it was actually in a laundromat called King Coin Laundromat and it was a little uh, maybe six to 800 square feet cut out in the corner of the laundromat and uh, yeah, it was a very interesting uh, little operation. I actually uh, stopped working for Jerry for a little while and I was working in a coffee shop and uh, Jerry had come in one day and uh, he was having a meeting with a, a couple of guys uh, that were also interested in the location. And I sort of uh, jokingly, but seriously, you know, a little bit of both, asked Jerry, how, how do I get into a location? And he said, are you serious? And I'd say, yeah, it's something I would consider. And uh, he came back to the coffee shop a couple of days later and he threw a do-tang on the uh, on the counter and it said, here you go, check this out. And uh, inside there was a little bit uh, of uh, background about uh, Pizza Hotline, uh, franchise of Primo Pizza. And uh, there was a bit of a pro forma in there and I, I got excited and uh, just decided to go for it. This was back in 1993. First one, right? First, yeah, first, first franchise. franchise, yeah. First, first or second franchise, uh, yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, it was a pretty exciting time. Uh, I was just young and uh, full of excitement and every time the printer would go off, there would be excitement in the kitchen and just, uh, th there was a joke uh, at the time, there was some ads on TV. Uh, one of them was, um, was a Wendy's commercial, where's the beef and, uh, and cha-ching was, uh, was a couple of the catchphrases in there. So every time an order would print in my kitchen, all of the staff would yell, cha-ching! And uh, it was pretty neat. It was a lot different than it was today. Uh, each of the individual locations had their own phone number, which is different than it is today. Um, uh, when I bought my store, there was, there was uh, one phone number, but when I started working for Jerry, there was four different phone numbers for the four different locations we had. We answered the phones in the stores, uh, wrote all the orders in a book. We tracked them all on a sheet at the end of the night. And uh, it was a big deal actually when we'd fill a bill book with 50 orders in a night. Um, and at the time, we had a deal called four or one. And uh, so if a customer ordered a small ham and pineapple pizza, we made them four small ham and pineapple pizzas. It was, uh, it was pretty cool. When I first opened uh, my location, what we would do uh, when we would get a customer is uh, I would write a letter to the customer and I would uh, express my thanks uh, for them coming. And uh, I would introduce myself as the owner of the store. And uh, I'd ask them if they'd fill out a questionnaire on, on, that was attached to the letter I wrote. On that questionnaire, there was an offer for a, a free liter of Coke if they would return the, uh, the letter. And it was very good, uh, very successful as far as marketing and, uh, and getting new customers. And I suppose um, the biggest change would be from when I started, we were taking our orders in the store and each store had an individual phone number and uh, by the time I bought my location there was one number 222-2222 and, uh, and we had a call center that uh, was actually in the basement of one of our locations. The girls uh, who would answer the phone sat on this one long wooden bench and uh, I guess that would be the biggest change and of course uh, along with the phone number would be the POS system. So rather than handwritten bills, uh, we had bills printed from uh, a point of sale system uh, that were consistent, written the same way every time. And uh, I think it made big changes as far as, uh, as far as producing the orders, the speed of producing orders, and also uh, as far as getting the data we need to, uh, to, to better advertise. The pizza business was sort of my childhood job and I didn't expect uh, to, to come back into it or to be working uh, with a pizza chain as long as I have, but uh, it's been very interesting and there's a lot to, to do in pizza, a lot more than uh, people would think. It's not just uh, slapping sauce and cheese on a piece of dough and cooking it. Uh, 
uh, there's a lot to it. So uh, that's sort of what's kept me in. The best perks working here are the people. Uh, it feels like family here for sure. And, uh, it, you know, if, if you're not doing so well in a certain area, there's uh, a lot of good coaching and uh, they push you, you know, the bar is always raised. Uh, and so no matter how well you do, there's always room to do better. And Jerry really instills that on people here. So, yeah. Would you do it again? Like start working Absolutely. Again? I would absolutely do it again. Um, there's a couple of things I would do differently as far as managing uh, location goes and running the store. Um, my customers would be treated exactly the same. Uh, and yeah, I would do that again for sure. Uh, sometimes I, I think about it uh, every once in a while. Every once in a while, the uh, energy levels that I have don't quite match uh, with what you'd like to have. Um, and I think sometimes that holds me back. The older I get, the, the more reserved I am to, to push ahead. But uh, yes, if I could do it again, I would. And what about working in the office? The, the office is great. It's been a great experience. It's been uh, the best education I could get learned a lot about uh, a lot of different things uh, and uh, I've been lucky enough to, to work in several different positions so uh, I've gained a lot of experience although it's only been one job for this many years I feel like I've probably had a dozen different jobs so uh, I definitely would do it again. Um, let's talk something about you. What do you do besides work? I'm a family guy. I have uh, a grandson and four children, three daughters and one son. Um, I spend a lot of time with my with my children. Um, I garden. I have a, a small vegetable garden that I'm very proud of. I love to eat eat the food out of the garden. Um, I love to prepare meals for people. I I really enjoy when I can make a meal and see other people enjoy it. Um, it's sort of uh, my thing, you know. Some people just want to whip together a meal. I want to. I want to sort of do something special every time I prepare a meal. So, uh, you know, I spend a lot of time cooking. Um, I also enjoy, you know, golfing my dog. I have a dog, so we go for a lot of walks. Um, yeah, there's, you know, a lot of family stuff, you know. Um, my kids are my world, so. What about I, young Craig? Young Craig. young Craig was a little <laughs> bit of an animal, maybe misdirected. He partied a lot. Uh, but you couldn't tell young Craig that he couldn't do something. Uh, I took that as a challenge. Every time someone said, you can't do that, I did it. Part of uh, Pizza Hotline was a little bit of that. Uh, you can't run a business. Oh, yes, I can, you know. So it was uh, very much a very confident young guy who could do anything. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And um, uh, what's on your bucket list? Oh, my bucket list. I have some travel on my bucket list. I w I'd like to go to uh, India uh, to see some of the temples. I think that's pretty neat. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, uh, China is another place I'd like to see. Egypt, um, as far as travel goes, um, I would like I like the lake life. So I'd like to get a cabin or, uh, or a trailer or something out at the lake. Um, that's one of the things I'd like to do. Um, I'd also like to maybe retire with a small business, uh, you know, probably something to do with gardening and, uh, and, um, yeah. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. Um, if you can tell someone watching this right now an advice and life or in general, what would it be? Um, don't think too much. Uh, sometimes you just have to follow your gut. And a lot of the time your gut knows what's best for you. And sometimes thinking too much uh, can hold you back. Um, don't be afraid of the unknown and push yourself outside the box. Um, doing the unknown, doing things that you're not comfortable with is what makes you grow. And um, that's, uh, that's how you should live your life. Don't, don't stay in the same uh, comfort zone all your life. You have to break free of that comfort zone and learn if you like things or if you don't like things and uh, it'll help you grow and uh, and you'll enjoy your life a lot more.